The difference between that of the Paleoconservatives and Neoconservatives is the Paleoconservatives stand for the classical old right, in other words they stand in support of true classical conservatism. So they favour the small and limited government, the lower tax rates, they defend individual states' rights, they're in support of this of the free market. They are strong constitutionalists, they were non-war interventionists. This is entirely different from the type of conservatives you see today in the front bench, uh, for example. You could even look at the conservatives within uh, Great Britain, but in the United States and the Republican Party is dominated by this of neoconservatism, which is kind of like a, a mixture between this of a, a liberal or today's modern liberal compared to what a classical liberal is, don't confuse the two, but it's kind of a combination between this of the liberal that's in sh uh, a wolf in sheep's clothing that pretends to be this of true conservatism when they really aren't. The neoconservatives took their influence from the foundations of the founder of cronyism in the United States, that being Alexander Hamilton. They like to make him out as if he was the true face of something capitalist, when in reality, Alexander Hamilton was someone who strongly opposed the entire meaning of free market capitalism. He was the enemy of the likes of the classical liberal Thomas Jefferson. The you know constitutional convention came around in 1787. Alexander Hamilton was someone who proposed to have a strong national government. He wanted a king who would be an overseer. He favoured something like the way King George III was. In other words, he wanted someone who would have all power over legislation and nobody in society would ever have a say. So it was basically like feudalism, in other words, of what he favoured. Alexander Hamilton uh, supported the corporate subsidies. So in other words, he supported uh, subsidising the rich at the expense of the poor, so he was in favour of all these protectionist tariffs and the higher tax rates in order to subsidise the rich at the expense of the poor. So the main difference is that the neoconservative, which is the new right, favours the strong corporate welfare and all the higher tax rates in order to finance their crusades going abroad and interfering in other countries' lives through all the war intervention, etc., which has pretty much bankrupted the nation and sent it so far into debt. They're, they're in favour of the strong corporate subsidies, etc., therefore bailing the failure out of others at the expense of the poor, like that of Alexander Hamilton. Just like in today's standards, you see these corporate monopolies, such as that of Monsanto, and so this was created by that of neoconservatives. Whereas if you can contrast that to your paleoconservatives, paleoconservatives are more against this of the corporate welfare, they're against the state subsidies, they're, they're more in favour of free trade, and of course freedom in the marketplace, and they're not in support of all these wars, so they're in favour of the lower corporate tax rates, etc. And that's really what it all boils down to. The neoconservatives are strongly in favour of that of corporatism, whereas your paleoconservatives are in favour of free market capitalism.